What's up guys, the Blu-ray Lover channel here with my review of WWE Extreme Rules 2016. This pay-per-view was supposed to be extreme and good and entertaining. I did not see the pre-show. I know Big Cass was up against the two Dudley boys and won that match. And then it was um, Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. Corbin won that match. We'll move on from there. The beginning of the pay-per-view had the Usos versus Anderson and Gallows. Gallows and Anderson won that match. Was not entertaining at all. And I knew once that was gonna happen that Anderson and Gallows versus the Usos was just gonna be terrible. And it was. And on next with Rusev versus Kalisto for the US Championship belt. That match was great from the beginning, but then towards the end, Kalisto apparently, for some reason they wrote him getting an injury, back injury. He couldn't face Rusev anymore and then for some reason Rusev puts his finishing move on him and wins the uh, uh, US Championship belt and I didn't like it either the ending of that match was just terrible fucking terrible I'm pissed off right now and they just didn't know what they were doing <sighs> fuck then after that we had the New Day versus the Vault Villains for the WWE Tag, tag Team Championship belts New Day came out did their small promo. Ball Villains came out, wrestled for about six minutes. New Day won that match. Wasn't entertaining and was just a bust. After that, we had the Intercontinental Fatal Four Way match with The Miz putting up his title against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Cesaro. And let me tell you, Cesaro, Zayn, and Kevin Owens brung the match. They brung it. They kicked ass. The Miz was just sleepwalking through this match. And the three other guys brung it for the what, 15 minutes of that match was going. The moves, everything they were doing in that ring was awesome. Cesaro and Sami Zayn were just outdoing each other. Kevin Owens as well. The Miz wasn't doing anything. And then the match started getting predictable and bad when Maurice started to butt in. And I started to hate it. And then at the last minute, Sami Zayn had it. And then the Miz came out of nowhere, got the 1-2-3 on Cesaro. And he's still the Intercontinental Champion, and that fucking pissed me off. It was just fucking terrible, and that was one of the matches I was looking forward to. And then Michael Cole was calling it Match of the Year. Fuck you, Michael Cole. Ain't no Match of the Year. Next up, we had the Asylum match. Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho, which was actually an entertaining and fun little cage match they had, which was an Asylum theme. And Dean Ambrose brung it. Chris Jericho actually brung it, too and entertaining from beginning to end. Dean Ambrose won basically putting a bunch of bag of tacks into the ring. Pot, or, you know, basically throwing Chris Jericho on top of it, getting the pin, winning it, one, two, three, which is great. Then we had Charlotte versus Natalia for the Women's Championship belt, and this just fucking went south. So fucking bad, I hated it. Charlotte and, 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 and Natalia wrestled, and then like 10 minutes later, Ric Flair's music comes, starts, and then there's somebody wearing Ric Flair's boots and his, um, you know, his gear, and it's Dana Brooks, that big titty woman wrestler that came from NXT, who was partnered with uh, Emma, but Emma's out because of her back injury, and she interferes, and then Charlotte got the win, and basically just fucked it up again. Like, enough of Charlotte, I'm getting tired of Charlotte, and that fucked up. And now, I'm basically watching... AJ Styles and Roman Reigns, please give us the same performance you guys did at Payback. I'm watching it right now live. I'll get to you guys after this match, review it. So here we go. It is Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, guys. Did you guys see that? Seth Rollins came out of nowhere. I know there were reports that he was backstage at Extreme Rules. I didn't know he was going to come out. I don't know if he was cleared for action. I guess he is. Wow. The match between Seth, um, Roman Reigns and AJ Styles was great from the beginning until Anderson and Gallows came and interfered and then the Usos. <sighs> Roman Reigns and AJ Styles need to wrestle on their own. They're better. Having interference from Gallows and Anderson and the stupid Usos is not great. It's making the pay-per-views making the pay-per-views look stupid. Leave the way, leave them the way they are, and they're more entertaining. Seth Rollins is back. You saw it. 
I wish I had showed you him coming in, giving him the pedigree, but I turned on my camera so late. The review for WWE Extreme Rules 2016 was mixed, and it just still pissed me off. It is a fucking rant. But seeing Seth Rollins back, pedigreeing Roman Reigns is fucking incredible. Finally, somebody's back. Seth Rollins needs to be champion again. I'm tired of Roman Reigns. AJ Styles should have been fucking champion, but they're using him. I hope it's Rollins versus AJ Styles because that would be great um, wrestling right there, but it probably will be Cena and Styles. All right, guys, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought about WWE Extreme Rules 2016. Did you even enjoy it? I know I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed the Extreme um, Asylum match or the, the Asylum Steel Cage match versus Jericho and um, Dean Ambrose. I can't even talk right now because Seth Rollins is fucking back. And that was an entertaining match. The Intercontinental four-way battle, uh, four-way match was great until the ending where Miz won it and just lost it for me. AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns too was entertaining until the interference from Gallows and Anderson and the Usos, but Seth Rollins coming back was great. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it. I'm the Blu-ray Lover channel. I'll check you guys out next time.